So thanks for having me here, Jeff and Maggie. And uh, my name is Mayank Agarwal. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Zen Space. We are headquartered in San Jose, but uh, we're making Las Vegas our home. So that's why I'm here. And uh, we have one of our units uh, in the building, which uh, if you have not seen that, I would love to show you one of our modular uh, meeting pods. And the picture there actually shows what we make. And uh, let me start with why we have started Zen Space. Um, you know, we all know that there is a lot of remote work, uh, the, the, you know, is, is increased flexibility in work, uh, people actually traveling a lot more for business. And that actually is something which is increasing on a dramatic speed. On the other hand, what I, uh, what we realized is that there is a lot of dead space, which is not generating any revenue. And when I talk about, if you go to Las Vegas Convention Center, Science Expo Convention Center, a lobby of a large, uh, um, uh, commercial uh, multi-tenant office building, for instance, even a hotel lobby for that matter. And for, you know, there's a lot of dead space which is not necessarily generating revenue today. So on the one hand, there is a need for business people like all of us in the room here who actually travel and they don't have a place to conduct business. On the other hand, there is a lot of dead space sitting out there which can generate revenue. So the, that was the genesis of uh, the idea of Zen Space. I got this idea sitting in a coffee shop. Um, I was working on an IoT platform, my background a little bit. Uh, I, I started my career as a uh, software engineer working in semiconductor industry, uh, did my MBA in Europe and uh, worked in London in sales, technology sales for a year. And 2010 is when I moved to this country uh, in Bay Area for technology sales as well. Uh, I was working on a uh, IoT uh, platform for B2B customers like this co-working space here. Uh, how can I automate the rooms? reservation system so people can find on-demand uh, spaces and hotel rooms and regions and we work all these offices and i was uh, retrofitting all the uh, door locks and making them work but uh, when i was developing this business plan and working with a lock manufacturer in europe uh, to enable our software i you know three days back to back every morning i will go there to a coffee shop and you don't have enough starbucks in uh, in europe by the way there are, there are quite a few not enough uh, let's put it this way uh, uh, so um, you know it was hard to uh, explain to this german guy that you know i need the wi-fi code and uh, it was noisy it was loud so i said you know we are building everything why can't we actually have a little corner uh, where I can actually not only pay for the coffee, but also pay $10 or 10 euros an hour and uh, get my work done. So that was the whole idea about Zen Space. Um, and of course the market, I mean, we all know what's going around, uh, you know, in the flexible uh, office space, flexible space market. Uh, you know, everything is shared and, you know, cars are shared, houses are shared and offices will be shared as well. And they're growing fast. So <clears throat> and that's the market that you want to address. Whatever happened with WeWork will not happen with ZenSpace. WeWork should buy ZenSpace to save themselves. <laughs> uh, and uh, I will actually jump onto a quick video. It's a one minute video. I hope actually I can still cover my presentation. Uh, which does a better job than uh, I do, uh, I believe. Hopefully it'll play online. In today's busy world, work is no longer confined to the traditional office. We set out on a mission to solve the business traveler's dilemma of finding a quiet and private workspace. This is Zen Space. We are redefining the meeting experience for mobile professionals by providing an on-demand tech-enabled workspace. Keep your business moving in the comfort of a quiet private space while away from the office and reserving the meeting space as easy as ordering a ride share. Use the Zen Space app to remotely search, schedule, and pay for pod time with a touch of a finger. You can even share the booking with other attendees. Zen Space contains a full array of technology to help you streamline work and business. We use IoT, machine learning, and cloud and edge computing to provide a fully autonomous and feature rich meeting space. Whether it's at a convention center, airport, hotel lobby, a coffee shop, or an office building, we're there to make sure you can drive your business forward with Zen Space. Unlocking the potential of people and places. Zen Space. Anytime, any place. Awesome. Well, um, actually, this uh, video does, as I mentioned, better than uh, possibly I will try, but I will continue with my presentation. Um, I have a few more slides to cover. Hello, I'm Ed Simon, the Chief Marketing and Sales Officer. And that's my space. That's my quick text. He was pitching at an event actually, and uh, we had that video. 
Okay, so um, so what I uh, this is actually a, we, we, uh, you know pod is actually a part of a uh, of a package. It's, we actually I like to call it a flexible business lounge or flexible co-working space. If you have a thousand square feet, five hundred square feet dead space doing nothing, and within twenty four hours you want to make it a on demand co-working space in a shopping mall in a flexible space building, that's what we are actually trying to develop. So the concepts here are actually just to show that how a cluster of these units with some soft furnishing, which is not necessarily a value proposition, is just a business impact. It's an impactful venue. How how that can make a difference, and that's you know uh, just to talk about the unit economics a little bit. Um, by the way, we have two different uh, distribution models when it comes to uh, the revenue. Well, let me start with the basics first. So $20 an average, um, you know, uh, per hour price, uh, uh, park, uh, five hours of usage on a daily basis, $100, uh, you know, and assuming 20 days in a month, which actually generates revenue, that's $2,000. And 25% uh, is actually reserved for the space owner who actually is providing other space. 75% is actually for Zen space for providing the hardware and everything else. And uh, that's actually on the revenue side. If you look at the cost uh, side, we manufacture this unit uh, turnkey installed first installation. When I talk about $12,000 as the cost, it means the first installation wherever it is. Uh, if we move it from that place to another place, it's another $1,000. But $12,000 and $3,000 per uh, annum operations. $5,000 to $7,000 is the resale value of this uh, in a secondary market to offices. We actually, uh, at, uh, on a 36 months, we are looking at $18,000 of total cost of ownership, which actually divided by 36 gives you $500. So approximately $500 to $600 per month uh, revenue uh, can break even, can provide us the break even on the, uh, at a gross margin. This does not include the fixed expenses of the company, which are not a whole lot, but uh, uh, we are running $70,000 a month approximately on a burn rate uh, today. So, but, uh, so I have not amortized that cost into this, but, uh, $600. So we are talking about 60% gross margin over the period of 36 months of ownership of a product uh, based on the revenue. That's actually our target goal. I think it can be much more. Uh, I have, we have tried to be realistic in whatever sense we can. Of course, we can play with the numbers. Just to give an example, we are live uh, today at Sands Expo Convention Center, Venetian and uh, Palazzo area. Where, and the minimum price they allowed us to set was $60 an hour on a four-seater unit and $30 an hour on a two-seater unit. And the comparison is a $10,000 meeting room, which... Uh, uh, is set up at Consumer Electronics Show for exhibitors. $10,000 for three days. That's what people pay for a meeting room, and that's where the benchmark is. At $60 an hour, if you compare it, even for three days, it's not gonna be that much, $1,500. So uh, end customer, it may sound very high on an ad hoc basis, and that's a feedback I get all the time. But uh, when I uh, think about this from an exhibitor perspective, and that's how we are presenting it, it's actually fairly nominal. Uh, we actually are looking at two different distribution models. One is actually ad hoc reservations. Another is pure B2B SaaS based distribution. So we are working on Microsoft uh, on our software layer, uh, Microsoft and Google plugins so people can reserve it using their calendars uh, and working with enterprises. So let's say we take a multi-tenant uh, office building, set up a business lounge and then sell a uh, hundred hour credit, 200 hour credit, stuff like that. Uh, to uh, enterprises in that same building so we can get recurring revenue. And we also have a certain portion reserved for ad hoc uh, revenue. So uh, the way we look at it is it's just like uh, cloud distribution or uh, telecom distribution. You set up the base station network and then you sell fixed cost and then you fill ad hoc, uh, sell ad hoc uh, cost. So that's our, our distribution model. <laughs> um, that's my team. Uh, I'm fortunate to have uh, Hugh Sinak, who actually uh, was a VP of customer experience at um, uh, LVC, uh, Las Vegas Convention Center, one of the board members there as well. And he has been guiding us, assisting us in uh, the market here, very well connected uh, in the industry. Uh, myself, uh, Ted Simon, who is not here, but uh, based in Bay Area, he runs our sales. And uh, Kimo Hoenstrom, who is a Finnish gentleman who helped me design this product from scratch, from a mechanical design perspective. He came from furniture background and we designed the product together. Uh, so it's a two-seater and four-seater. Uh, we manufacture a two-seater unit, which is 25 square feet in size. And I can show you this unit if we are able to walk out, which can be connected back to back and uh, we can make a four-seater out of it. Uh, all code compliant. Uh, so a UL certified uh, electricals. Uh, built to code roof uh, has been designed in a way that every fire marshal in this country can be happy about, which is the biggest battle which we had to fight. To be honest with you, fire marshals are uh, hard to convince. And uh, um, 
and structural uh, as well. So uh, we actually did uh, hire structural engineers to look at earthquake resistance and all that kind of stuff as well. So that, and Jim Young, who is actually the uh, president and CEO of uh, Realcom, uh, who, uh, he knows the who's who of uh, CBRE and others. Yeah, sorry, I'm over time. So this is actually my locations, which we are live uh, uh, today. Hayat Regency in Santa Clara, Venetian, and uh, we have 13 parts, we are going here. Uh, just, uh, uh, this is just a little bit of a competitive landscape. I think our biggest competition is Starbucks uh, or partner or acquisition. I mean, when I talk about competition, I like to talk about them in a perspective. I don't like the word competition. I like uh, that these are the people who can either work with us, acquire us or compete with us. So uh, it's a single slide which captures all of it. Uh, you know, it's an alternative. So it's an alternate. What is the alternative to Zen Space? A coffee shop, a, a place where you and I can actually sit down and meet wherever it is, right? That's actually the space which we compete with. Uh, we actually are raising $1.2 million on a safe note uh, at a $10 million valuation cap uh, for bridging to Series A, uh, which is actually towards end of this uh, year. And Q4, we are targeting Q4 or Q1 of next year is when we are targeting our Series A. Uh, and we need to build some metrics before that. We want to generate 80K to 100K MRR uh, before that. We are already generating six to $70,000 for last three, four months. Uh, we do it by two different things. A portion of a, a very small portion of our revenue comes from the deployment in uh, places like Sands, like $10,000 on an average is what we are clocking today. Uh, but uh, majority of revenue is coming from rental of our units to events. We also rent our units to, uh, but that's a tactical revenue. Uh, I like that cash, it's not necessarily solves the vision of the company, but it help, It is helping us bridging to, uh, to that. But we want to, that's why we are here, we are here to raise that $1.2 million so I can actually have 10 pots in every resort here in Las Vegas. Uh, you know, that's one of our goals and objectives. And uh, we don't manufacture in the US at this point in time, but I'm uh, very keen to manufacture here. I heard some folks have, here have uh, manufacturing uh, you know, setups and I would love to explore a possibility of uh, making that in the US at this point. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thank you.